portion of the show. Joining us now, Sid Salter, political analyst. He's also the chief communications officer and director of the Office of Public Affairs at Mississippi State University. Sid, how's it going today, my friend? Well, Gerard, uh, glad to be with you. Yes, sir. So, Neshoba County Fair rolls around once a year, and that's coming up next year. In, uh, in the county, the big old house party, we're going to be over there. And, of course, this is uh, – it's legendary, honestly. And I know you have uh, attended many times. I have as well. I'm going to be doing the show over there. But sometimes uh, stuff happens that's unpredictable, as we shall say. What do you think well, this year? Uh, this is uh, sort of an off-year uh, politically, there's uh, not a great deal of intrigue left in the uh, midterm congressional elections. And, uh, you know, this this will be the lightest menu of speeches uh, in the in the four year cycle. So there will be nine speeches on Wednesday and nine speeches on Thursday for uh, 18 total. You'll have political speaking from 9 a.m. to just before 11 a.m. each day. Uh, and so uh, it, it depends on one's perspective. If you like uh, if you like wall-to-wall political speaking for three days, uh, you know, back to back <laughs> to back, this may not be your year. Uh, but if you uh, sort of enjoy taking in the rest of the fair, uh, this, is a, this is a good year. The, uh, the statewide elected officials, and then the legislators and judges who uh, actually serve the Shelby County in some capacity, uh, that will be the crop of speakers. Uh, obviously, you'll have the uh, Democratic uh, nominee in the 3rd Congressional District uh, will be speaking. Uh, I don't think Congressman Guest is going to uh, be able to speak because he will be on Capitol Hill uh, available to vote, but uh, that's that's about it. I've had several people ask me about uh, the uh, candidates out of the fourth congressional district. Uh, it's been a long-standing rule at Neshoba. If you don't represent Neshoba Countyans, you know normally you don't uh, you don't speak. So that's about the lineup on politics, and then you get into. Uh, you know, some uh, political observers are wondering, is uh, one of the statewide uh, office holders going to make a surprise announcement? That's always, I guess, a possibility. Uh, frankly, I don't, uh, I don't expect that to happen. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to make a, you know, surprise unveiling of a candidacy. But, you know, stranger things have happened, and, and I suppose it could. What I do think you'll get out of our statewide officials is their version of a progress report on what they've been doing, how they've been serving the taxpayers, what the challenges are moving forward. I think you'll get some sort of forecast on the state's uh, physical condition. And right now, the state's physical condition is uh, very, very good. Uh, there's there surpluses, and so... Uh, I think that uh, you know, this should be uh, one of those elections, uh, one of those uh, Neshoba County Fair election cycles where there will be an inordinate amount of discussion about the national political condition. Yeah. You'll hear a lot of discussion of gas prices and uh, inflation and kitchen table issues and all that from, from folks who don't have uh, – a direct hand in uh, in changing those circumstances, but it's entertaining. And uh, you know, Gerard, I've been listening to these speeches for more than fifty years now, and uh, you know, just when you think you've heard it all, you haven't. So uh, <laughs> people people enjoy it, and uh, I'm one of them. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So you, uh, you you made a statement, Sid, about uh, no particular revelations with respect to statewide uh, elected officials maybe announcing for a change of plans. Uh, and even though they may not be on, on the schedule to speak, 
do you think we may see someone just time an announcement for statewide office that is uh, maybe um, in uh, an office in the legislature or not in office whatsoever that may announce for some statewide office? Well, those kinds of announcements, uh, yeah, that's that's always possible. I think from the uh, stable of eight uh, statewide elected officials, I don't look for a, a surprise announcement out of any of those uh, individuals. I think uh, somebody not in office who wants to be, uh, or I think someone who uh, uh, isn't on the speaking program but may want to move into that position, those, those can always happen because, uh, you know, politics is kind of like church where two or more are gathered, uh, they have worship, and so there's a lot of media <laughs> there. Uh, and if people are going to do things like that, that's uh, that's a, a place where it happened. I've, I've heard that happen before. But, you know, there, there's been some speculation uh, particularly to the left uh, in the news media of, uh, you know, sort of these uh, challenges to uh, existing office holders from within that group of elected officials. You know, obviously anything can happen, but I would I would be somewhat surprised to, to hear that happen at Neshoba. I'm with you. I, th- I think that's right. So 50 years uh, you mentioned, Sid, you've been attending and you've, uh, of course, uh, taken in, uh, in uncountable speeches <laughs> during that period. Any particular memories you can share with us that kind of stick out? Well, uh, source, I, I sort of enjoyed the uh, art and science of uh, old-time uh, stump uh, political speaking. It's a dying art, and, you know, Twitter has, has rendered the impact of uh, those speeches somewhat less today than they were yeah. uh, in the 50s and 60s and 70s. But, you know, obviously, uh, and, and, and you can put partisan uh, uh, thoughts aside, just people who were flat good at it, uh, uh John Arthur Eves in the in the white you know drive up in a drop top Cadillac in a white suit uh, and and do his thing. Uh, there was an old speaker out of South Mississippi uh, made a gubernatorial race. Jimmy Swan, he, I he remember. was an old radio guy. Yeah, uh, Jimmy was was good. Of course, uh, Ross Barnett. Uh, if if you discounted some of the things he actually said, Ross <laughs> Barnett was. Uh, terribly uh, entertaining yes uh but you know all-time uh favorite and i think if you talk to a lot of uh people with gray hair out there blowtorch mason uh was was a tremendous speaker and his uh, his pitch was that uh, they lived out in the country and his wife didn't have electricity and running water and he wanted to get elected governor so he could move his wife to town and she had <laughs> both of those uh, benefits. And so uh, over the years, there, there has, has been a lot of uh, a lot of art and not much science to uh, some of that speaking. But, uh, you know, as a spectator sport, it's sort of the, the political equivalent of uh, pro wrestling. And uh, I, I like it. I always have. Well, I uh, just got a little bit left. You think it's fair to say that the path to statewide office in Mississippi runs through the Neshoba County Fair? Always has. I, I think that was probably, uh, in intensity, it was a little more true uh, 20 years ago than today because social media has changed uh, politics as it has changed yeah. the rest of our lives. But, yeah, I, I do think the path to statewide office runs through the Neshoba County Fair, the Jacinto yeah. Courthouse Step, Been there Fox too. Hunt, you know, several of those events statewide. Uh, and it's a tradition that Mississippians uh, have embraced for a long time. I, I think they'll continue to embrace it. Well, we look forward to it, and uh, we're going to be set up over there hosting middays. Are you going to stop by? Are you going to be around? Yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Uh you know, Gallo always uh, figures out a way to wheedle uh, biscuits out of uh, my <laughs> wife. Uh, the biscuits will be gone, but we'll uh, we'll be glad to see you drop by and 
visit with us. We'll we'll stop by the tent and see you guys. We look forward to it. Good to talk to you, Sid. We'll see you next week. Take care. Sid Salter, political analyst and uh, chief communications officer at Mississippi State. It's been our guest. We'll be right back on Midday. Stay with us. 